Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those whom are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. You'll find the link to my Patreon in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why we spiritually led here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? Someone is in big, big trouble here. As I'm tapped into the energy, I'm channeling that. Somebody is in big trouble, okay? The type of trouble that they don't know if they'll ever get out of it or they'll ever find a conclusion or resolution to it in their favor. Okay? Yeah, we have the world. Yeah, somebody's world is literally falling apart here. Things in this person's life are falling apart. Clarify the world. We have Gemini energy. We have Scorpio energy. We have Taurus energy. We have Aquarius energy. And we have Leo energy as well. Yeah, we have the Nine of Wands. This is like a lot of shame. Yeah, and the tower reversed. It's like whatever is happening to this person that has to do with them being in trouble and things falling apart in their world has them in a lot of shame, a lot of guilt um, and embarrassment. It's a situation that can't be controlled at all. They can't change it or undo it or um, it's like they're stuck, okay, in the entrapment of what they're experiencing nothing can be done or said to stop what this person is dealing with and going through in their life and i'm i'm, I'm seeing here that it's something very serious okay what this person is going through is something very serious it's crucial it can impact their future type of crucial it can make or break them type of crucial okay it can um damage do damage in, in every way type of crucial, okay? And this person does not know what to do. They don't know what to say. They don't know who to go to, where to go. It's just, it's all a mess right now. This person is going through unavoidable change, unavoidable tower, just an unavoidable situation, okay? The Five of Cups, and they're beating themselves up for it with this Five of Cups. They're definitely beating themselves up at this time. We also have Sagittarius energy. We have double Scorpio energy. They're beating themselves up for it, beloved. Okay. They feel like it's all their fault. They should have listened to their intuition. They should have allowed themselves to be humble and not do whatever they did that got them in this position. Because now life is humbling this person greatly. They feel like this level of being humbled is worse than like what they did. Because if they had chosen to be humble back then, they wouldn't be experiencing life humbling them this way. So they feel like they really messed up here. They really messed up is how they feel. Okay. 
I'm channeling a change, a shift in the energy. This specific person, they need you. They need your help. They look at you as a way out of this or as somebody that can provide them with the way out of this. This person views you and sees you as somebody who is the only one that can get it. Okay? The only one that can give them what they need or put them in a in a better position or change the perspective of their reality, okay? Change their world, their life. That's how they, they view you. That's how they see you here. Let's see here. But why am I channeling the energy that, like, this person did you very wrong and they only realizing later that they need you or they only realizing now that like they should have never done what they did to you because now they need you or they need your help here okay this person definitely views the situation all in all as like a loss they feel like they didn't gain anything from this because in the end like it's just all a loss truly whatever it is they were striving for like determined committed to do and devoted and just whatever they were they fell in so headstrong in terms of vindictiveness being calculated and malicious and just envious and jealous they feel like it just took control of them to the point where they missed the actual picture the bigger picture that like they are going to need you in the future and the future is now when it comes to this energy of a person and the situation like the future is now. This person is reflecting on everything and realizing like nothing was worth it. Because if they hadn't done what they done, they could have really um, had a different reality right now or been experiencing something other than what they're experiencing here. They regret making the decision, the types of decisions and choices that they made because they see that there's no way out of it. That's why they're beating themselves up for it because it's them that created this reality for themselves. They manifested this. They called this in with everything that they did. And this person understands that you are not obligated to do anything for them. You don't owe them anything especially that okay because what i'm seeing here is like this is the same person that wanted to destroy your life somehow or wanted to put you in a position where you're compromised there's no way out and now the tables have turned they are facing it's like god put them in the exact situation that they wanted you to be in but with interest it's like 10 times worse or something like that but that's the thing about life you know when you come against somebody make sure that you are prepared to win because you are not God. You don't know what God has planned for anybody. That's why it's important to leave people alone, stay in your lane and mind your business as a person. But this person here, they failed that at that. They failed at that. Now they burdened, wishing that like they could make things different or they could change the situation to be different. This person lost the battle that they tried to place you in. All the attempts, all the attacks, like they've lost. They are lost. Okay? And they view you as somebody that is in a different state of being or different energy, different reality. Like you are not like them. You're not in that frequency or vibration. Okay, let's tap in further to the energy. This person, they've met God through you, okay? This situation, simply put, is enabling this person to have no choice but to believe in God, okay? Or a higher power in that way. You know what I mean? Cool to say it in that way. Because this person, like, for a long time, they never... It's like somebody is going through judgment here. they really going through judgment. They're under heavy judgment here. Okay? And there's nothing they can do about it. They're forced to go through 
what they're going through here. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Yeah, this person feels like they let the, their ego get in the way. Okay? They feel like if it wasn't for their ego, they would have ended up in a different position than this. That this person was heavily controlled by their ego. It got to the point where they thought they were untouchable at something or it will remain undetected, but they've been exposed. The truth is is being illuminated or they have now they are the fool in the situation they've lost all control all power all authority they thought they had or they deemed to have that so everything this person has done it's eating them alive inside i feel like it's like you know this person's deepest, darkest secret or secrets. And whatever truth has been illuminated or whatever is now not in the dark. This person, they feel and think that you know more than you let on. Like they, they are looking at you as somebody who, despite what has come out, what where the light has been shined in the situation they feel like you know you know deeper than what than what the truth has been shown to be or whatever is exposed or whatever is now not in the dark and has been illuminated they feel like you know you know the truth of their deepest darkest secrets in a deeper way and this person like, they definitely feel like the fool in this situation here. Because imagine the very same person who tries to stand against you the way they did. Now wanting to be your friend or now needing your help, needing your guidance, your advice. Or wanting desperately to be in your life and your energy to experience you. Like, imagine. Imagine that. That's like a big tables turn type of energy. It's a big tables turn type of energy here. Okay. They are in hell right now. Okay. They are in hell right now. And they manifested that state of being for themselves. They manifested that reality for themselves. And they know that. Like they put themselves in this situation. And now this person with this hermit energy... We have um, we have double Virgo energy. We have Capricorn energy. We have Taurus energy. We also have Libra energy. With this Hermit energy, this person feels like they can't run away from the shadow. They can't run away from their darkness. They, there's a mirror pointed at this person, and even if they're afraid to reflect, they are being put in a position where they have to because the way because the way their life is going okay like they can't do anything except sit and reflect or they can't do anything except go within yeah this person is truly ashamed here they truly embarrassed We have cancer energy. I don't wish they could take it back. Like, because the way in which things are happening in this person's life, like, they really are in the energy of being like, you know what? This was never worth it. I should have never, ever done what I did. Like, the consequence is far worse than the actions. They literally don't see a way out. They don't see how they will ever heal from this. That's the thing. When you manifest and call in and attract such darkness in your life with the decisions and choices that you make to the point where you don't know how you're going to get away from the darkness 
or the darkness is so deeply embedded within you that you are running away from yourself this is where this person is at okay this is where they at with it they don't know what to do okay every day they being faced with the choice and decision that they made here okay we have double gemini energy with this lovers here they're being faced with the choice and decision choices and decisions that they made surrounding you and everything that they put you through i see that this person like it feels th like they're being punished here they're going through that form of judgment where they're being punished we all get judged we all undergo judgment where our actions and 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 and, and our consequences have to you know it all has to align whether for good or for bad but it's all karma it's the law of the universe of life so this person here at this point they're just suffering you know it's heavy judgment that is at play in their life. They don't they really, really are in the worst state of being that they've ever in, they've ever been in. They don't know um what strategy to to tap into or what plan to create or you know what trick to pull. All of the things that this person did that led up to this point. None of those things will ever be effective in getting themselves out of this or undoing everything that they've done or just releasing them or getting rid of the darkness that is hovering over their life like a dark cloud. Nothing that this person did worked out for them. They are now ashamed and embarrassed and trying to desperately hold on to the little bit of lights that they have left in their life. And I see here that you're dealing with somebody, you know, that is trying to hide the shame the very same shame guilt and embarrassment that we established when we first tapped into this energy of a person they're trying to hide it they're trying to do the opposite it, if it's like this person will cry themselves to sleep or cry be in the in the corner of a room or you know just be in the corner of the shower let the water run and just cry or in the middle of the day, they just break down and cry. But then in the eyes of others or just in public, they portray that they're the most happiest or they just, they're having the most fun or they're in the energy of living life and living it up in their life. Like they portray the opposite of what they're going through or what they're feeling as a coping mechanism because they would rather do that than to allow themselves to fall apart but they can't stop themselves from falling apart because it's happening nonetheless. Everything else is just a distraction or what a coping mechanism. They're trying to put on a show for people to see that like they fine or nothing's wrong. They're trying to, whatever has been exposed or whatever has been illuminated, they're trying to play it off real cool. Like they're trying to maneuver in a very like high vibrational way that they can like they're trying to go about this situation as high vibrational as possible and they feel like hiding and running away from themselves or the situation is the best way to do it and they're just pretending okay this is all just they pretending here So whatever you might see or hear or know or figure out about this person, it's all just pretend, okay? The truth is this person is not okay and they don't think they'll ever be because of how deep and dark this is here. Like this is some, like I said, life altering type of consequences, um, life changing for the worst type of consequences, okay? It's the type of situation that anybody will do anything to get out of because of how bad it is or how how much it hurts or how much shame and embarrassment and guilt 
it comes with you know one of those situations it's like I can't believe I can't believe it I can't believe I did that or I can't believe this happened I can't believe I can't believe I can't believe I can't believe type of energy yeah this is some strong karma here we have double Leo energy we have the strength this is some strong strong karma it's like something has come full circle this situation it has come full circle here from the first step that this person took to the last now it's like dealing with all that they've done all that they've said and having to deal with it by standing on it like and to stand on it is to live with it like imagine an analogy a reference point a case study an example like let's say somebody committed a crime right let's say somebody committed a spiritual crime where they went into someone's dreams and they um did sex magic and like literally that's spiritual rape r-a-p-e oh my god and then well somebody did a crime in the physical where they did something to someone right and it's 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 a bloody mess right and now let's say the truth of that comes out and they have to now live with it because the truth coming out means they have to deal with the consequences. It'd be different if this person had got away with this. At some point, they might have felt like they're getting away with this. But it was only just pending their doom, pending their karma. Time was ticking down the hours, the minutes, the seconds, the days, the months, the years of when the, the weeks of when this person is meant to, you know, undergo what they meant to undergo, which is this karma here which is this full circle moment of like, damn, like now what I did is biting me in the butt. Now what I did has become my worst nightmare. This person wished they would have left you alone. They just wish like, yo, I should have left this person alone. Like they beating themselves up in that way where it's like, man, I should have left this person alone. I should have left them alone. Mm. We have double Libra energy. We have the four of swords. Like this person is not in peace. Like the way the four of swords energy is depicted here is like this person in the depiction of the imagery is laying, but like they have a sword that is just laying next to them and the, the sharp um, angle of the sword is poking them. And it's like you can't be in the, you can't lay and have a sword just directly poking at you. There's no way you are okay. There's no way you will be able to have any form of peace or contentment when that is the case. But the sword in this instance is a figure of speech to the situation, the circumstance this person is in. They're not okay. I'm being called to end this message here. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah source the divine i'm grateful for your time and i thank you so much for joining me on the prophetic vessel show okay to those whom are keen or interested in becoming members of my patreon on my patreon i offer weekly sign readings for ten dollars per month based on love as well as spiritual path You'll find the link to my Patreon listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it will lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.